surrounded by some lofty hills and mountain ranges a magnificent river system and lush green valleys the northeast india has been a nature's heaven on earth since the ages in the heart of northeast is situated the valleys of the mighty brahmaputra the barak and the mountainous assam range comprising the state of assam since the ancient time beyond the reach of written history this paradise has witnessed the migration of all the major human races australoids mongoloid caucasian negroids etc and over the ages the grand assimilation of this races led to the formation of assam and the assamese community agriculture has always been the major means of livelihood in this tropical land and based on the several agricultural practices and lifestyle of assamis folks the festival of bihu came into being and is celebrated every year with great pomp and gaiety throughout the length and breadth of the state and in other words bihu is the identity of assamis culture and tradition निश्चय कोई विज्ञान और प्रजुक्ति विद्यार प्रगतर लगे लगे मानव सभ्यता बहु दूर आगे और इंटर फलस्वरूपे परवर्तित जीवन शैलिये पर्याय्रमे विहु उत्सव लक्षण परवर्तन कढ़िया अना देखा जाए कि तथापिओ विहुर संलग्न कृष्टि संस्कृति और आवेग अनुभूति आज अक्षुण्ण आसे विश्वास है सक आज आम विहुर आलमते भूमुकी मार समय सूत किसुपरमाणे हलो म्लान हब खोजा शतिका जुरी विस्तृत बर्णिल इतिहास क्लोजलि लिंक टू द्रिकल्चरल सैकल थ्री विहूज आर सेलिब्रेटेड थ्रु आउट दर नेमलि रंगाली और बहग विहु कंगाली और कटि विहु एंड भोगाली और माघ विहु देट टाइम अफ दर वेन द प्रजेनी अफ ट्रेल्स रेडियर द स्प्रिंग टाइम is celebrated as the bohag or the rongali bihu the most charismatic and fetching out of the three bihus in the month of sod that is march to april the famous seasonal wind bordoi sila and the consequent pre monsoon sets forth the atmosphere for the asmis new year celebration at the time of the year the trees and plants are renewed with new leaves kopo nahor tagor keteki bhato polak modar etc with the lyrical and compelling charm creates an endearing environment and plays host to the bihu festival and chanting chirps of kuli keteki hokhioti dohi kotara bulbuli sakoi sokua etc sets the atmosphere bountiful of glory joy and celebration integrally connected with phases of the natural cycle and processes the spring is that time of the year when the folks rejuvenate themselves for a new rotation of harvest in the succeeding year with lots of vigor and spirit this is the time when all unite to welcome bihu with great joy the sounds of dheki echoes around and the ethnic food is being prepared at every household Meanwhile, it's worth mentioning that the Assamese weavers have always been praised for the phenomenal weaving craft worldwide. Henceforth, a handloom is an inextricable element of the culture of every Assamese household. The female members of the society eagerly awaits the Rongali Bihu to give their beloved ones a handwoven fulam gamusa as a token of love and respect. The cups between the month of March and April is regarded as the start of Bohag Bihu and is celebrated as Goru Bihu or the day of the cattle. On this day, the cattle are washed with mahalodi and are worshipped and viewed as auspicious. Vegetables like bottle gourd, bitter gourd, thakera, cucumber, and turmeric are binded together. in a traditionally made chak and these are being thrown to the cattle while bathing them 
and the cattle's owners sing, Lao kha, bengana kha, bosare bosare barhija, mar horu, baper horu, toy hobi, borguru. Digloti and Makioti, with which to bid the cattle is considered as an integral part of the cultural heritage and are insect repellent as well. By the end of the day, the cattle are fed with pitas and are tied with new Torah ropes. The smoke from the fire or herbs like marijuana, ferns, etc. is considered favorable to the cattle. It keeps the flies away. Gorubihu is devoted to honoring the cattle, thus stretching the important role cattle play in the day-to-day -day life of the community. This process reveals the relationship between people and animals and the prevalence of advanced cultivational technologies at that time. It marks the love and respect of Asmus people towards their cattle, which form the backbone of every agrobiz civilization. On the day of Guru Bihu, it is customary to eat a mixed veg of 101 varieties of local herbs and vegetables, which has many medicinal values. Moreover, in different parts of Assam, there is the custom of eating radiant larva and eggs on the day of Guru Bihu, and this makes illness disappear and also ward of new wounds as per traditional beliefs. In addition to this, traditional egg fights, cock fights, buffalo fights are prevalent in different parts of Assam. This has proved that since ages, recreation and amusement by means of several sports and games was meant necessary for a sound health and mind. The second day of Bohag Bihu is celebrated as Manu Bihu or the Bihu of the Mass. A bounty in the heart of nature inspires glory, joy and celebration in the heart of the common people. People adorn themselves with new attires and Fulam Gamusas are exchanged as gifts. Everyone pays obeisance to the elders and takes their blessings. This is preceded by relishing some delicious traditional preparations like dil pitha, ghila pitha, khutuli pitha, narikolor laru, tilor laru, and also sira, kumol saul, akhoi, muri, card, cream, etc., which imparts charm to the milieu. Every Asmis household spoons out mouth watering dishes to the guest during Bihu. Different faith traditions among different tribes in Assam have developed a ritual to remember the dead and to honor their lives by offering pithas, rice, fish, meat, rice beer, etc. during Bihu. Kusori, a tradition that heralds the festival of springtime, Bihu is confined to male performers accompanied by few elders who visit a stroke from house to house, singing songs primarily standing in a circle and playing the dhol, pepa and tal. The members of the household pay obeisance to the Husori doll with a horai of erika knot and betel leaf and a fulang kamusa. They bless the family with prayers for a healthy and prosperous year ahead. Thus, Husori provides the evidence of social cooperation and unity among the SMS society and thereby stands as a symbol of social harmony. Husori is performed differently by different tribes. We were fortunate enough to have witnessed the Haidang Bihu at Lepet Kota Kosarigaon in Debrugar. The mellifluous and euphonious sound created by the bits of the bamboo sticks on a bamboo rod is really pleasing to the ears. Yeah, 
On the cultural front, Bihu song and dance is an inextricable part of Bihu. Internationally acclaimed, Bihu dance has won laurels from around the world. History is a testament to the fact that joyous Bihu songs and dance was coincident with the rise of agricultural life in Assam. Earlier, village folks, basically the women, performed Bihu dance under a tree and this was known as Gostol or Bihu. The male members were not allowed to enter the perimeter of such bihus. Log lagi, mana food kita masak kore. Jengbi hok, bihu nam, bon kuka, eh hokulubu, etia, amar, monso bihule, ahigol, monso le ahigol. Likewise, in different parts of Assam, the ghost doll or bihu is still prevalent, and we were blessed to have watched the ghost doll bihu at Chabua Jerai Gaon in Dibruga. At the end of the seventh day, youth, both male and female, together. Bid adieu to Bohagi. So, Guru Rizunimov, Ahumos Shastro Jabulikwahoi, I wrote Teo Hakon Kaltu Hose, sixteen ninety six to seventeen fourteen. Guru Rizunimov, Christopher Kurkata, Razmo Chita Pashle Bihue, Shuahagor Rupuri Kota or Teomoke, Ronghor, Ronghor Bakuri. Continuing the tradition, even today, we witnessed the Rongali Bihu on the ground of the Asia's biggest amphitheater, Ronghor. The Sorgodil proceeds to the Ronghor on the elephant's back from the Karenghor. The streets of Sipsagar get extremely crowded by the onlookers to witness the historic Bihu at Ronghor Bakori. Cultural functions are observed in different parts of Assam to commemorate the celebration of Bihu. And at Jamira Dhamalgaon in Debrugar, we witnessed the Bohua dance of Sunwal Kosari tribes which is believed to have originated from the narratives of Lord Shiva and Parvati. Ene dore khob dore bornona kori khe kori bonwara, akhomiyar bapoti khahun bihur, eya mathuek abhak matro. Gulukyo koron, aru adhunikotar prabhavot, Manop Hoibota ji potere aguaina zaokio. Bihu hodai protizon of Homiar. Bukura pun hoeace, arutakibo. Onoikor majot oikor protik. Bihur go rob moi morjodag okun norokatu. Protizon of Homiar John Mologno odikar. Tota diabod dota. Amaruti moromor. Sorgi of Hupendar bahare coboloigole. Bohag matuiti ditu no hoi. No hoi bohag eti ma. Ohomia jatir i ayu reka Gono jibonor i ha He ahop Ajiami protizon o homia hong kol polo Jebihu re uti jamon dito joy jat track Ami ubiram gutireag borhainim Aru ohomia jatir sinakik Bissor dorbarot Sirodinor babeuzolairakim <laughs>